Minibyte is an ecosystem project that I've been developing to create a truly closed, complex ecosystem. And up until this point, I've had two separate systems, one that's freshwater and the other one that's saltwater in two different locations. But in this video, I combine the two ecosystems into one room and create one large ecosystem that goes from freshwater all the way to saltwater. We're gonna go through the build and the one week update on how the interactions have taken off since the two systems have been combined. Well, here we go. We are getting started with the move to include the second mini biota in this area. And so we have uh, the coastal ecosystem that is getting ready to get pushed over to this side here. And the uh, lakeshore ecosystem is going to go over here on this side. We're actually going to bend it because I, I, I just don't have all of the space. And, uh, and so the lake ecosystem will be right here, and then it'll just follow along down this way uh, with the grassland and this mangrove uh, ecosystem here connecting together. And so all of it is gonna be interconnected. I'm really excited about this move, and so let's get started. Here in this install, I've hit another uh, milestone, and that's where we begin the process of connecting this tank here, the coastal tank, to the grassland tank. And the way that's gonna work is that there's a T fitting down here, and so the PVC stretches across, and we've got the same thing here on this end. So this also has a T fitting, and they will be connected together meaning that water can technically move from this tank all the way across to the ocean, and the ocean can move all the way across to the lake. I'm not exactly sure on the dynamics there as far as whether that's going to have salt creeping in over on this end, but, um, you know, that's what we're here to find out. Um, the main purpose between connecting everything underneath like that is so that if it rains a little bit more in this tank or the other tank um, water can always level itself out so that there's not water that accumulates on one end and the water on this side let's say as an example uh, starts to dry out and you know and just collect all the way over here but yep it's still sunday a little bit left until we have these tanks connected. I think I'm gonna be here all the rest of the day making sure that everything is connected properly. It's now Saturday and it has been a week since uh, the install of the two mini biota ecosystems. And so I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the result. Uh, everything went pretty much well. Um, here we've got the fiddler crabs doing their thing. We had a little bit of a sinkhole uh, situation right there and that was because of the install of this pipe. We lost some sand. And so um, this whole side is gonna get redone. I'm removing a lot of this substrate. This is just too much. The original idea was to, to have the substrate go from the, from the top here and work its way all the way down. But over time, the substrate is just gonna level out. And that's mainly because of the pistol uh, shrimps that are in here. And uh, so that's not so good. I'm, I'm gonna just rework this and uh, set it up in a better way. Obviously the water is green. I did get the water checked recently and the uh, chemistry is actually just perfect. It's, it's fine. However, um, you know, it's algae filled. It's not pleasant to look at but all of the creatures inside are doing just fine. Everything is pretty stable. It's just hard to look at. 
But um, moving on, um, when when I moved this tank a week ago, the water clarity was uh, non-existent. It was completely brown, and already you could see that this ecosystem is back to looking the way that it did uh, before we did the move altogether. And uh, the only real difference here is that this, um, this branch here had to move from, from, from the other end and I had to move it to, to this end. But all of the organisms are doing just fine. Everything is pretty stable. Um, nothing died that I can tell. And, uh, and you know, this, this area is just looking pristine, I would say. Um, over here on this end, the first thing that I noticed was that the mangrove crab and the squareback marsh crab, they were checking out this area a whole lot. So as soon as I had uh, these two sides connected, now this is the, their main habitat. This is where they sleep at night. But during the day, they come out here and they forage. And actually there's the, what's that? That is the, the uh, mangrove crab. He's just hanging out right there now. But today, actually, so a whole week later, for the first time, I found them both venturing off into this side. And as a matter of fact, they were, um, it was a squareback marsh crab that first went in and um, walked all the way to the water moved across and then and then just explored the whole area uh squareback marsh crab got a little bit in the water but not not too deep it's still very cautious making sure that things are safe in this whole new environment but what else happened uh i've since disconnected the the uh connection that went from from the saltwater side all the way across underground to the freshwater side and that's because as it turned out the salt water just moved way too fast across to this end now the soil here was so compacted that nothing really got in but i opened this up a little bit and and you know honestly just tasted the water and could see well could taste that the water was salty and so I quickly cut everything off. And, um, and so I have to come up with a new solution. It's back to the drawing board. And the new solution is going to be a estuary tank. Okay, so I have a really cool design in order to create an estuary out of these tanks. And uh, it's just gonna be a matter of testing it out before implementing it here but um but yeah this is the mini biota ecosystem after one week it's been okay and uh as soon as i'm ready to which is gonna probably be this coming up week i'll get back into working the wave system so that means redesigning this prototype gear mechanism getting rid of the uh the smaller motor that that used to sit in here and adding a a vehicle uh window lift motor so this system is way stronger in and we'll be able to lift the pipe that we saw earlier but either way it's gonna happen. Um, this system is going okay. I'll probably add some organisms to it once the wave system is rocking. And uh, so stay tuned for that. I hope that you find this project as interesting as I do. And if you do, make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out. Um, definitely trying to get this channel off the ground and hopefully be able to produce content more frequently. But anyway, if you have any questions or any suggestions on the build, any tips or anything like that, just let me know, drop a comment and we'll see you next time.